Hello, this is Pastor Russ, and I'm so glad you're with me today on this uh, Monday. Time for a mini Bible study. We're studying a very important chapter in the book of Genesis today, and that is Genesis uh, chapter 22. What we'll be studying today is a continuation of the story of Abraham and Isaac and Sarah. Uh, this chapter 22 deals specifically with the sacrifice of Abraham's son, Isaac. And uh, what this is all about is it's all about a foreshadowing of Jesus. So let me read uh, this uh, chapter to you, chapter 22 out of Genesis, and then we'll talk about how this, uh, the things in this chapter really are a uh, foretelling, a foreshadowing, predicting uh, what may, might be happening in the future. Of course, we're fortunate in that we're looking back in history. So we know both about the, uh, uh, you know, the sacrifice of Jesus uh, on that Holy Week, as well as knowing all about Abraham and Isaac from reading about them in the Bible. So let's start by reading uh, chapter 22 here in the Bible. Sometime later, uh, God tested Abraham. He said to him, Abraham, here I am, he replied. Then God said, take your son, your only son, Isaac, whom you love, and go to the region of Moriah. Sacrifice him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains I will tell you about. Early the next morning, Abraham got up and saddled his donkey. He took with him two of his servants and his son, Isaac. When he had cut enough wood for the burnt offering, he set out for the place God had told him about. On the third day, Abraham looked up and saw the place in the distance. He said to his servants, stay here with the donkey while I and the boy go over there. We will worship and then we will come back to you. Abraham took the wood for the burnt offering and placed it on his son Isaac, and he himself carried the fire and the knife. As the two of them went on together, Isaac spoke up and said to his father, Abraham, said to his father, Abraham, Father, yes, my son, Abraham replied. The fire and the wood are here, Isaac said, but where is the lamb for the burnt offering? Abraham answered, God himself will provide the lamb for the burnt offering, my son. And the two of them went on together. When they had reached the place God had told him about, Abraham built an altar there and arranged the wood on it. He bound his son Isaac and laid him on the altar on top of the wood. Then he reached out his hand and took his knife to slay his son. But the angel of the Lord called out to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham, here I am, he replied. Do not lay a hand on the boy, he said. Do not do anything to him. Now that I know that you fear God, because you have not withheld from me your son, your only son. Abraham looked up, and there in a thicket he saw a ram caught by its horns. He went over and took the ram and sacrificed it as a burnt offering instead of his son. So Abraham called that place, the Lord will provide. And to this day it is said, on the mountain of the Lord it will be provided. The angel of the Lord called to Abraham from heaven a second time and said, I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you have done this and have not withheld your son, your only son, I will surely bless you and make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and as the sand on the seashore. Your descendants will take possession of the cities of their enemies and through your offspring all nations on earth will be blessed because you have obeyed me. Then Abraham returned to his servants and they set off together for Beersheba and Abraham stayed in Beersheba. Sometime later, Abraham was told, Milcah is also a mother. She has borne sons to your brother Nahor. Uz, the firstborn, Buzz, his brother, Kemuel, father of Aram, Kesed, Hazo, Pildash, Jidlath, and Bethuel. Bethuel became the father of Rebekah. Milcah bore these eight sons to Abraham's brother Nahor. His concubine, whose name was Reamah, also had sons, Teba, Geham, Tehash, and Makal. And so we have the ending of our 
uh, here of our reading of, of the chapter 22 of Genesis. And what I want to do now is I want to go back to some of the verses and I want to take a look at uh, especially those things that are foreshadowing of, uh, you know, of, of Jesus. So let's start now with the age of, of Isaac. Uh, if we take a look here at, uh, at verse 1, if you look in your Bibles at verse 1, it says, some time later, that's how it begins. Now we know that uh, Isaac was weaned uh, from his mother, uh, Sarah, uh, sometime between two and five years old. And then now this was some time later. We don't know the exact time later, but we know that he was not just a small young boy. Uh, we also know this because of, of, of other things in the Bible. If we take a look, for example, at verse 6, it says, Abraham took the wood for the burnt offering, placed it on his son Isaac. And so Isaac had to be old enough and strong enough to carry all of this wood for the sacrifice. So this again indicates that Isaac is probably older. Some theologians say between 18 and 20 years of age. Some say uh, maybe as old as in his 30s. Uh, Jesus was 33 when he died, and so it could be that Isaac was around that same age of 33. And then if we look at uh, verse 7, uh, Isaac asked his father about uh, the lamb for the burnt offering. So apparently he was old enough to have uh, been involved in several of the sacrifices before. He knew that that uh, that his father Abraham would need to have a lamb for the sacrifice. Again, indicating that he is probably a little bit older uh, than, you know, just a really young boy. A second foreshadowing is the use of the term only son. We see that first in verse 2 when uh, when God says, take your son, your only son, Isaac, and then we see that a couple of times later uh, in verse 12, um, the, the angel says that I know that you fear God because you have not withheld from me your son, your only son. And then again, God uses that same term uh, later on in, uh, in verse 16. I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you have done this and have not withheld your son, your only son. Now, this is significant, this phrase only son, because, of course, Jesus was God's only son. And this is mentioned uh, in the baptism of Jesus. Another foreshadowing that we see here is the use uh, of a donkey. Um, it's reminiscent here uh, of the journey of Mary, uh, who rode on a donkey before giving birth to Jesus. But even more so in the last week of Jesus's life, when Jesus rode into Jerusalem, on a donkey. And here we have a donkey that's carrying all the supplies uh, for the sacrifice uh, here of Isaac. Another important foreshadowing is the term on the third day. We see this in verse 4 that says, On the third day Abraham looked up and saw the place in the distance. And you probably know that, uh, you know, on the third day Jesus was resurrected uh, from, you know, from the grave, from the tomb, that he came alive. So here it is again, the third day, that we're going to have a sacrifice of a person. Uh, and Abraham, because of his trust in the Lord, is going to be spared his son, and his son is actually going to be saved uh, into new life on the third day. Another one is using wood for the sacrifice. And we see here in verse 6, that Abraham took the wood for the burnt offering and uh, placed it on his son Isaac. So Isaac had to carry his wood for this sacrifice uh, th that we see here. So we see this in, in verse 6. Uh, we also see this in verses 7, 8, and 13, that he, they placed the wood onto the fire, and he bound his son Isaac. Now, imagine this, if you would. His son Isaac is old enough to uh, fight for himself. Abraham is an old man now. If, if if it is true that Isaac is in his 30s, then that would mean that uh, Abraham is 130 years old. And so Isaac could very well overtake his father, but he didn't. He allowed uh, his, himself to be sacrificed on this wood, just the same as Jesus allowed himself to be sacrificed on the wooden cross, because that's what his father asked him to do. 
And uh, also in these verses 7, 8, and 13, we see that God provides the sacrificial lamb for uh, the sacrifice. God providing the ram, uh, God provides the sacrificial lamb in Jesus Christ himself. Well, I sure appreciate you uh, being with me. If you have, uh, uh, if you want to check out my website, uh, pastorrust.net. I'm so glad that you were here for uh, chapter 22 of the book of Genesis. And so uh, have a great and wonderful week. Uh, this is uh, Pastor Russ saying uh, so long and uh, you're always in my prayers. So God bless.